Hi guys, in this video we're talking about measures of central tendency. When we say central tendency, really we're talking about like where do the numbers tend to group together, okay? Where do they tend to centralize? And so uh, we got mean, median, and mode here, and I'm not going to go through those definitions because you've done those before, but if you need to read through them, remember just mean, mean is the average, median means the middle value when you list them from first to, to smallest to greatest, and then mode means which one happens most often. The only one that might trick you up is if we do have a, a set of values and we list them from greatest to smallest, smallest to greatest, and there seems to be two middle values, you take those and you, and you average them together and that gives you the median. Um, so what I'm more interested in doing is just going through a quick example just to refresh your memory, and then I'm going to show you how to do this on the calculator as well. Um, the data set here, not at the right but below, gives the waiting time in minutes of several people at two veterinary offices. Find the mean, median, and mode of each data set. And I only listed one instead of two examples here, but I'm trying to find the mean, median, and mode of all these values. So if I wanted to do it by hand, for the mean, I would have to just add all these values up and divide by how many values we have. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10 values. So I'm going to add them up and divide by 10. That's pretty straightforward. If I want to do median, I would list them from smallest to greatest, so I'd reorder them, and then I'm going to pick the middle value. So if I want to do the median, for example, I would list the 14 would be first, maybe a little check mark so I know I've got it. Looks like then the 17, then the 18, then the 19. 14, 17, 18, 19, I got four of the 10. And it looks like I hit uh, 20, then 22. And then it looks like I hit 24 a couple of times. And then I've got a 30 and a 32. And if I want to do median now, I would look at these and I would say, okay, 10 values. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4. Ooh, there's two middle values. It's 20 and 22 tend to be the middle values right here. And so I take the 20 and the 22 and I add them up and divide by 2. Those would average out, of course, to 21. So your median would be 21. The mode would be the number that occurs most often. In that case, 24 is the only one that occurs more than once, and the mode would be 24. And so these are pretty straightforward to do. I guess I didn't add them up. I should add them up real quick and find out what they average out to. Um, so 14 plus 24 plus 17 plus 24, 18, 19, 32, 20, 30, and 22. Add them up and divide by 10, and it turns out that the, the mean is 22. Okay, pretty simple stuff, right? That's like middle school math for most of us. Let's uh, let you go through and figure out how to do this on the graphing calculator instead. Okay, so um, here's here's where the magic happens. And before I do this, I just want to to make sure that you have gone and watched this video on the invalid dim error, okay? Because that is going to cause you heartache whenever you go through and start doing statistics on the calculator, okay? Make sure and go watch the video about that on my channel about how to take that off, okay? Um, what we're going to do is we're gonna go into the stat menu. And so when I click statistics, it gives me a couple of options. Up here at the top it says, do you wanna edit the stats? Do you wanna put some stats in? which in this case we haven't done anything yet, so we're going to. Do we want to do calculations with our statistics, or do we want to run some tests? I'll tell you for Algebra 2, we won't do anything but putting values in and doing a couple of calculations. Very easy stuff, okay? So let's go through and let's edit our statistics. In this case, we only have one set of values, so if I had two, I would do X and Y coordinates next to each other, but here I'm just doing one. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to type in uh, 14, 17, Oh, now let's just go in order. 14, then 24, then 17, 24, 18, 19, 32, 20, 30, and 22. So I have 10 values here. Very easy to tell. It says list number one, 11th value. I can tell here that I have 10 values, so that's good. That means that I've got them all. I counted 10 on paper. Now, in order to do stuff with this, I'm, I'm done entering information in, so I'm going to hit second, and then I'm going to quit out of the menu. I'm going to go back to my main screen. Now I'm going to go back into the statistics menu, and this time, instead of editing, I can sort ascending. That'd be nice. I can sort descending. That'd be pretty nice. I can clear all my lists. That'd be pretty nice. But you know what I want to do here? I don't want to input values or change them. I just want to do some calculations with them. I have one variable, right? That's the time. Okay, I have one list of values that I'm comparing. I'm just going to hit enter. I'm going to enter again, okay? And it starts to tell me a bunch of interesting information. For instance, on the calculator, whenever you do this, 
anytime you see the bar over the top, that means the average value. Okay, so this is the average value. The average value in this case is 22. The second thing says, I have this Greek letter, that's the Greek letter sigma, and x. We saw the number 220, right? That's when I added all the values up. Well, it turns out that the Greek letter sigma, the Greek letter sigma just means what do they sum to? Greek letter sigma means add them all up. What is the sum of all the values? It's 220. And what I did there is I took the 220 divided by 10 to get the 22, right? Other things, if I start scrolling down, it'll tell me, for instance, how many values I have. There were 10 values. It'll tell me the smallest value. My minimum x value was 14. It'll tell you the median value is 21. That was nice, right? Median value is 21. And it'll tell me my maximum value is 32. So it gives us all sorts of information. The only thing it doesn't do here is the mode. But hey, you know what? You can go through and figure out the, 30, uh, the 24 is the one that, only one that occurs twice, right? The one that occurs most often. So that's how to do basic statistics on mean, medium, mode on the TI-84 calculators using the stat menu. Okay. Now we just got to be careful. One more time, you got to check out this invalid dim video. Okay. Because what it's going to show you is when I go to graph a line. Okay. When I go to graph a line like three x plus two, you're going to go to graph and it's going to give you this and it's going to drive you bonkers. Okay. And the problem is, and you'll see in that video, up here. We want to take this and make sure that the plot is not highlighted. Now that we're doing statistics, that's going to drive us nuts. That thing might become highlighted. We just need to make sure it's not. So now when I go through and graph, I actually get the line that I was looking for. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, you may or may not need that. That stuff that we just did is going to be really helpful for the range, standard deviation, and outliers that we'll talk about later.